Do you have any questions that you want to ask about the Bible, about creation, creation science? Well, tonight we've got Dr. Grady on the line to answer all of your questions. We've got the iPad ready and Dr. Grady on the line. Grady, are you there? I am, and I'm excited to talk about a subject that I have been tracking for decades. Well, there you go, Grady. There is a subject that we're going to start the program with tonight, and uh, we're going to show this on screen, and we're going to read it together. And the, talk, the subject's talking about astronomers discover immense swarms of dark points on the sun that could result in vivid aurora and dangerous solar flares in the coming months. A pair of massive sunspot swarms, some large enough to devour the Earth whole, have appeared on the surface of the sun, increasing the chance of an intense solar storm. Sunspots are dark regions of the sun where it is cooler than other parts of the surface. Solar flares originate close to these dark areas of the stars. Recently, space weather forecasters spotted two active regions known as AR2993 and AR2994 swarms, which made up of a number of sunspots in the past few days. Solar flares and coronal mass ejections came from these regions when they explode in the direction of the Earth, and they result in geomagnetic storms that produce beautiful auroras as well as pose a danger to power grids and satellites. Now, Grady, very interesting article. It came out just this afternoon. What are your initial thoughts? Well, first of all, I, I don't think they had enough news, so they had to go pull up something that was, uh, well, been around a long time. It's not news. Yeah. What this is is simply the standard, normal process of the increase in sunspots. It's a normal cycle. It lasts about 11 years. We came up with a solar minimum about two years ago, and we're probably going to hit um, the middle of it around, say, 2025. And um, this is just normal. What you see is an increase in sunspot activity. No one knows exactly why it goes up and down in cycles. Only God would know that. But sometimes they can be very large, and sometimes you can see that the uh, sun is just covered with them. They more often happen in the northern hemisphere than the southern hemisphere of the sun. And they rotate across the face of the sun as the sun is rotating. And so every day you can actually see them sort of march across from left to right, as you see there. Now, those big sunspots, uh, 93, 94, 95, uh, a few days ago were over on the left side and just came, came around the edge, so to speak. And they form and they come and they go. Now, the, the bad thing about it is that they can cause what are called CME, coronal mass ejections. And when that happens, if they're pointed in such a way that the Earth's orbit goes into one of these coronal mass ejections at the same time that, that it's coming away from the sun, it can greatly disrupt uh, satellite communication, shut down communication networks. So it, it's serious in that standpoint. Uh, but this is not a news item, uh, really. Uh, the fact of the matter is that we've had an increase in sunspot activity for the last couple of years. Uh, it will increase more. That's relatively predictable. How much it will increase is quite something else again. And again, only God knows that. 